How's it going everyone? Welcome to the next League of Legends video where we're playing some support Soraka with a bit of a twist. We're going to be going at Moonstone Renewer and building into a Rabadon's Death Cap after that, if we can manage to get the gold. And the runes for this match is going to be our Airy page with Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Second Wind, and Revitalize. And then we're going to be hopefully getting as much AP as possible to get big heals. We're going to be maxing our W this game. And we're going to see if our ultimate can do amazing, amazing global heals as well. Let's see how this lane goes. We're fading against an Aphelios and a Maokai. That's why we picked up the uh, Relic uh, weapon, the Relic Shield. So that we can not have to worry about poking too much. Let's try and avoid getting hit by those um, Maokai saplings. He's looking to walk up. Get a point in our heal. If we take the saplings, that's fine. It's not going to bother us too much as it will for Ezreal. We have second wind. We also have our self sustain with our rejuvenation. I'm going to try and get this cannon here. Aphelios completely missed his uh, shot there. Drop another Q. Give Ezreal another heal. Top side looks like there's Evelyn fighting Kha'Zix. We can try doing a little bit of fighting here. Since there is no jungler down here. And mid lane's just in mid lane. Good, good. Ways pushing into us. Ooh, another Q heal. Thank you, Maokai. So it's pretty much going to be a uh, one of those games where we still have to stand back because they have the Evelyn. Well, hopefully the Rabadons also helps us with uh, defending ourselves. Getting good AP hits. You did not need to dash out there. You're safe. Felix does not want to get hit by my Q. Good dodge there on the Maokai's heart. We're running low on mana. So we're definitely going to be going Moonstone first because of how passive these guys are playing. We can't seem to get any sort of uh, good poke off and be able to bully them as much as we'd like to. That's another good Q hit. I mean, you could try and root me there, but Malka was walking away. Excuse me. Her peace of mind. I can go try and drop a ward in the tri bush, but. You know, like Maokai is holding that area over there. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's going for Drake? Oh, I was going to get that. So they get Drake bot side. It's an ocean Drake for them. A little sad about that one.
Get a second point in our Q. Or our W, I mean. I don't know where Aphelios is walking. Our Israel doesn't seem to be doing too much poke. As I say that, he lands a nice Q. But I feel like we need to go back to base as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we can't help our map right now because we don't have our ultimate. Is there a sapling in there? No, there isn't. Drop a warden here, just in case. A nice Q hit on Aphelios there. It is red and white weapons for Aphelia, so we shouldn't be fighting him. Close to getting six here. We're just stuck in lane. Aphelia says six. Get an auto off on Maokai. We have level six now. Syndra should be okay unless we sense that an Evelyn's gonna gank him. Then we can just ult. We're kind of hovering our camera over them. Very nice. Syndra survived that. No need to thank me. I'm doing my job, Syndra. Bet you that Evelyn's a little frustrated though. Using ult like that for nothing. That was a good zoning ult from Maokai there. Really, really effective. We haven't even needed to use potions this uh, lane so far. We should be backing here. I have no mana. No reason to continue here when we could just have the wave push back to us. Alright, so now we're gonna get our Bandle Glass Mirror boots. Now we can get Ruby Crystal. Speed up our build for our Moonstone. Let me take a sip of water. Water check for all of you and, and that's watching the video as well. Here in my videos and in my streams, we like to make sure that we're all hydrated. Try and meet Kha'Zix halfway. Uh, push or leave it? I think we just push, right? It's just going down there on, uh, on its own anyway. Maokai is there, looking to stop me. We'll just heal up Kha'Zix again. It's been a fairly even lane for uh, both ADCs and supports. We'll use our ultimate to heal up Gangplank, but it doesn't look like it helped. Because the Rumble has magic penetration boots. Now, does Syndra manage to catch this? Or does Kha'Zix do it? Nice! Kha'Zix gets it. With the help of Syndra. It's really nice. 
despite the fact that uh, we're leaving Drake exposed still. So Maokai's was in the river. Look at this cannon. What's he looking for? Yeah, you're not gonna kill us. For peace of mind. Aphelios is not there, so we can't. Hmm. Okay, so Maokai got there first. You want to fight them? That's very unfortunate. Okay, we survived. Don't ping me, thought Ezreal was backing initially. We'll get boots so we can move around faster. Syndra should be okay. I'll give her an ult just to give her a little bit more confidence. And we'll drop a control ward in here. Our first Drake, which is Infernal, should be good for our Syndra. Generally good for our whole team, especially the Kha'Zix especially, actually. Then now we have four points on our W. Good poke already, as Aphelios just returns to lane. He does get to clear this wave on us, unfortunately. Nice, return kill. Oh, I was gonna hit that. Unfortunate. I'm not gonna let him go take that for free. Want that cannon. We're close to getting our Moonstone now. Just block him off with the E. It'll be back up in 10 seconds. I really need to be a little bit more proactive with my Qs. Get them while they're walking up to the minion instead of, like, as they're on it. Okay, so... I guess we just don't have enough damage nor sustain to deal with that. Was that red-white again? It was red white, wasn't it? Bad look, bad look. Gangplank dead again.
Why are we abandoning mid tower anyway? Was that a teleport? It wasn't a teleport. She was walking. We'll head over to mid ourselves. Why are they committing so many resources to Gangplank? Barely missed her. Oh, the flash. Syndra's complaining for some reason, even though they're kind of like not pushing and moving, respectively. They're like kind of just like leaving lane and letting the victor push their tower. We barely have any damage on our tower. I think they're mostly talking about the uh, Gangplank and Kha'Zix though. Good thing about Gangplank is that he scales very well into the late game. Technically, all of us do, especially Kha'Zix. I can heal you. Lots of heals. I'm just going to heal all of you and then back out. Guess I can't back out, but I don't have any health anyway, so I should have just already been completing my teleport at that time. The Evelyn's 9 and 1 with Rocket Belt and Mesh Eyes. Kind of spooky. That's what happens when you take advantage of a gangplank topside that is dying so many times. Do we give this Drake? I don't have my ultimate. That Evelyn is pretty low too. I'll just heal you up. Very huge. You know, we didn't get the Drake. We still managed to get a good kill. Is that the Soul Fighter Evelyn skin? It is. Looks really good. I have a feeling we're going to jump down here by her again. We need to get wards out in the, like the jungle so that we can know which path she's taking when she's farming again. Or at least get more control wards. This is my path. Well, I get an assist with Syndra. 
Even though I don't think that was necessary for her, I was trying to help out Kha'Zix. Can I heal you? Top you up? No? Oh, yes? Thank you. I really can't position any further than where I've gone already, just because of the fact that there's no pressure. So I just gotta play this somewhat safe. At least you're uh, keeping the Maokai busy. Be able to take out that, um, take out the rumble. Less pressure on their end. Yeah. I'm just gonna go over here. I don't want to get one shot, and I can get one shot at this HP. Gangplank it out. Man, using ult on him is not even worth it right now. I still got hit by a root there. I thought I was uh, not in contact with that one, unless it was the east leftmost route on that uh, lane got me. Close, Syndra. Very close. It's been a hard day for videos today, unfortunately. It's been a very hard day. We do get an about, uh, some bounty gold, though. Evelyn with 24 Magi stacks. At least he's farming well. Like, I'll commend him for that. How much healing have we done with our Moonstone? 1796 chain healing? This is my path. Things I'm gonna do. Goodbye. Break is up and we're not even down there. Am I dead to the Andres? Probably got the Drake at least. Fight through it. Keep autoing him. Nice. That was a very good turnaround there. Lots of gold being put into our pockets. We'll pick up our large rod now. We are 155 AP.
We're still fairly even level-wise. I just have three deaths, unfortunately, because we're dealing with a lot of bursts on their end. But we scale well. We scale. Never waste we'll make them afraid of our damage and our heals very soon. I wonder if I can go down here and help. Nope, she's just dead. Ezreal should be getting out of that spot there. If you give this tower, my God, they committed so much for me right there. I'll give you one more heal. Oh. Well, somehow we got an Evelyn again. So now she's losing more stacks. And another assist. Huge. Look at my team go. Looks like we're making progress. It was just needing to, a little bit of time to get more confidence, I guess. I don't know how my team's mental is working right now. We can push. Let me heal you. at least. Oh geez. I don't I can't heal anyone right now, but we've been able to get some good heals off. Let me heal you one more time and then I'll back. I can't stay. I'm way too low right now. I would just die in a matter of like one random stray shot. Are we actually just ending here? Nice. Oh. GG well played. Very nice. We'll take that. We managed to get our team to get to the point where we could just patiently survive the Evelyn. That Evelyn was a little crazy, that game. But hey, we did a chat. We managed to do it. So let's take a look at the healing that we did. Give a uh, great shot calling to Syndra. I'm not going to give her a stayed cool. She definitely did not stay cool. Uh, and let's take a look. B plus for us because we were just getting run down. Syndra with the awesome damage. Ally healing, 19,826. And 2,700... 27,813 healing overall. So not the best, not the worst. We didn't actually manage to get many items because of how far behind we were. But patience still is a virtue. We were able to get Syndra to where she needed to be. And uh, we were able to just slowly domino effect it. So awesome, awesome game. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed the commentary there, feel free to throw a like. If you are liking these Soraka videos, feel free to subscribe for more of them as they're coming out. And I'm thinking of doing an Alistair video sometime soon. I've been playing him very recently and enjoying the sustain that he has on his kit. So we'll see how that works out. 
And um, I want to I want to actually get a Rabadon's video done too. So maybe we'll get a, a video in where we get Rabadon's first and see how it works. We'll see. Uh, feel free to check out the streams today as well. And this week we are streaming from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and um, Saturday this week. So if you want to stop by and say hello, feel free to. Otherwise, we'll see you for the next video. Adios, everyone.